All right, guys, so now that we know the basics of how to create an off canvas menu, what I want to do in this video is a couple things. First, I want to show you how to create some advanced functionality for it. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to create the left menu like before and also a right menu so you can have dual navigation menus. And I'm going to be making this menu bar at the top. So the last one, we just had a link and it said toggle uh, menu or toggle button or whatever. Well, 99% of the time you have this toolbar at the top with icons. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to add those and it's just going to look a whole lot better. So what we need to keep from the last tutorial is the basic shell, the basic structure of it. And I also kept this right here since this exit off canvas, it doesn't change. And by the way, I probably should mention this right here, this little keyword, that's needed by JavaScript so it can work with a menu and actually have the functionality to display it and hide it. So that's what that is. Probably should mention that in the last video, but that's why you need to include it. So what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be creating the left menu and the right menu. And actually, before we even do that, let's go ahead and create that top menu bar. Do I want to capitalize everything or not? No, I don't. All right. So let's go ahead and create this part first. So we're going to have two hamburger icons, these little three lines, one on the left, one on the right. And I'll just put the logo, the new boss, then right in the middle. That'll be easy to understand. And why is this like highlighting in yellow? Tweaking me out. All right. So for the top menu bar, you just have a navigation and the class is set to tab bar right like that now if you want to add the individual buttons then what you do is you make a new section and for the class for the left button you're gonna write left small now you write small because you don't want it to take up like an equal amount of width as you know the main logo in the middle you just want a little section because it only needs to be the width of the actual button inside so that's our section. Now inside this is where we actually put that icon, that hamburger icon. So A, the class of this is left off canvas. Remember, it's toggle. And the other one is menu icon. Nope. All right, there we go. Now inside here, this is where things get a little bit weird. And let me make sure I have my dead link so I don't forget. We're going to put a span just like this, but we're not going to add any classes and we're not going to add anything to it. All we're going to do is we're going to make an empty span. Now you're like, uh, why would you do that? Why do you need that? Well, foundation needs an empty span because this is how it says, okay, I'm going to put the icon, the menu icon, those three lines right here. So why they made it this way, I'm not sure, but you have to yell at them, not me. So that is our left button, right like that. And let's refresh and see what we got. All right, so we have our main tab bar. This entire dark thing is a tab bar and this is the left button. And as you can see, whenever we click it, it's trying to toggle a menu that doesn't exist yet. So we'll create that later on. And I might as well keep that nice and toy. All right. So after that left icon, I'm just going to have the middle section where it says the new Boston. So, you know, I have some branding in my app. So section, not sec, section, there we go. Boom, tomato, tomato. Now the class for this is a built-in class. You can add middle to middle align everything and tab bar section. Now inside here, just add heading one and for the class set it equal to title. And for your title, you don't name yours New Boston, but mine will be the New Boston. So now we made a title that's going to be displayed in the middle top of our little navigation tab bar up there. So the only other thing we need to do now is, you know how we have a button on the left? Well, we're going to make one on the right, so it's going to be really similar to this. So for the section, of course, it's going to be right small since you want it to be to uh, float to the right and instead of toggling the left menu whenever we click it we want it to toggle the right menu so we need to design two separate menus and that's what we're gonna do so 
This one toggles the left. This one's going to toggle the right. And then we got some branding going on looking good. So now let's go ahead and make up our actual menus. So for the left menu, like before, we're going to have an aside. And for the class of this, it's just going to be left off canvas menu. Now in here, just going to make an unordered list and I'll just say off canvas list. So this is actually probably a better way to make your navigation menu instead of just making, you know, your default standard unordered list. It gives you a little bit of default styling and I'll show you some other cool tricks as well. So inside here, have a list item and you can actually have a label. Now inside your label, um, what can I have? like pages or something. So you get, if you have different subsections, so for example, you might have on your left menu a bunch of links for your profile, a bunch of links for your settings, whatever, you can add a label at the top of each one and it just gives a little indicator of what this subsection of items is for. So now, let me just add. I'll just make one link and then I'll let you guys be creative and do whatever else you want to do. All right, so the rest is just a regular list item. Let me show you guys what that does. So this, we don't have enough content or any content at all, so that's why it's not displaying. But you can see that the label is clearly indicator that, hey, this is not an actual button that you can click. And your buttons appear as big buttons. So when we actually make some content and stick it in there, you guys are going to see those menus a little bit more clearly. But now what I want to do is I want to make the right menu. So change this to right. Off canvas menu. So now whenever we press, press that button on the right, it knows, hey, this is the one I'm supposed to be toggling. And off canvas list, we'll just say, uh, I don't know, maybe the menu on the right hand side is your friends list and displays all of your friends which is no one not even in my fake examples do I have any friends oh so sad so sad alright so now all we have to do is we have to make our main content and actually let me just go ahead and do this so for the section I'll show you guys some other cool techniques I don't want to overload you guys with too much but this is another thing that you can do. So you can have your main section and let me just add some paragraphs with some, um, by the way, I use this all the time. Bacon Ipsum. It's like lorem ipsum, but it gives you like words about bacon. And uh, let me just copy this. So just making some fake filler content right now. So we have three paragraphs, stick them in our main section, looking good. And uh, yeah, you know what? That is actually it. So we already have this taken care of. So let's see what's going on right now. So this is our web page by default. And this is what it would look like on a large screen device. Now, whenever we click this left menu, toggles the left menu. And now that we have content, you can see that this is the label and it's a little bit smaller so the user knows not to click it and these are your individual buttons that would go to a different page or whatever you wanted them to do and of course we can have one on the right as well so pretty cool and just to show you guys that it is responsive on smaller devices it would look good so actually for the chat app I'm making like I said, I'm going to have all the rooms right here. So, you know, if a user wants to chat with their family room or their friends or maybe their work, they can select the room. And then once they're in the room, it shows all the people or users that are in there. So it's going to be pretty cool, but just wanted to uh, demonstrate that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed how to make a more advanced and slightly better looking um, toggle menu layout. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.